Uh, and Jerry is right here. Uh, you know, they are taking a lot of money. Uh, a lot of that's coming from Wall Street. A lot of those gains a lot of people have made in the markets are translating to revenue in Washington, D.C., about $3.4 trillion worth. The problem is we spend almost a trillion dollars more than that. So that's a problem, according to my next guest, uh, Representative Dave Bratt from the United State of Virginia. Remember, he was in that insurgent wave of one that toppled, uh, you know, a monolith called Eric Cantor. That was then. This is now. Good to see you, sir. Great to have you live. You know, one of your big issues had been what got you to power was how do we account for that money? Um, what's happening to that money? What's yep. happening to these debt? Um, and we're a few trillion more in debt since then. What's going on? Yeah, well, the spending probably more than anything else represents the swamp. So we did tax cuts, uh, and that's producing economic growth. That'll probably pay for the tax cuts. I think the CBO this week said we're going to grow at 3.3. 3% covers the growth. But that's only half of the problem, right? The other half of the problem is the spending side. And we've shown no ability, and I think on your show we covered earlier last month, the Senate has said we're not even going to do a budget next year. We're not even going to do a budget. Right. And so that's our only ability to do big, powerful uh, Republican policy with 51 so you votes think in the this Senate. Is the Senate's fault? Uh, a lot of it. The House passed a budget. We did not. We plussed up the military. We still had big deficit. Right. But we're we're trying to contain it somewhat. And then to get the nine uh, Senate Democrat votes, we had to plus it up 400 billion. And that wasn't wi widely reported. Some of the financial shows, like you guys, get into the weeds, but very few of the top line news uh, got into that negotiation, right? That to get the nine Senate Democrat votes. And then earlier in the year, the biggest block of uh, Democrat votes was for the Progressive Caucus budget. Right. It's a real budget, 107 votes. And they wanted to increase taxes $10 trillion. People won't believe that's true. But uh, today, the, the Pelosi and Schumer are out there marching to increase your taxes. Well, they're saying they want to rip up. I don't know if she's still speaking outside. So, yeah. But they, they, they rip up the, the tax package now, start right. from scratch, do something that benefits more average folks and not your rich buddies, you say. <laughs> Yeah, I say I'm the only guy that got a pay raise when I came up here. Right? I was a liberal arts professor teaching economics. I'm not beholden to anyone. I ran for the small guy. Uh, all the policies. But even like, you're, you're yeah. taking heat in your district. It's like they have the knives out for everyone. Well, <clears throat> I think that's the problem. It's just political right now. It's not yeah. based in Are economic Are you worried about reality. this blue wave? I mean, uh, the 40th Republican announcing this morning he's... He's not running for re-election. In fact, Congressman Dunn of Pennsylvania is leaving in the next few weeks. I don't know the full story there, but it's a, it's a conga line. What's yeah. going on? Well, it's rough, and the politics right now isn't allowing a policy debate. It's all on politics, and, you know, CNN is wall-to-wall -wall Russia investigations, all these controversial stories. Well, why are you watching CNN? I just, once in a while, I turn away from your show okay, just right. for a minute. Right. But nothing That's on right, content. Then. This right? interview was looking promising. <laughs> right, I know. Right. No, no Obamacare debate. Right. Premiums are through the roof. Immigration, our governor ran as a centrist in Virginia, Northern, promised no sanctuary cities. Last week he vetoes a bill. Now we're going to have sanctuary cities uh, in Virginia. I don't think Virginians get what's coming their way, right? You go Google Paris and Amsterdam and London right now. Take a look at uh, what immigration policy run amok looks like. It's not pleasant. Well, what do you think is separately of the president's effort to look at that $1.3 trillion yep. out of the spending package and start rescinding a lot of it? Um, yep. Some of your colleagues worry that he doesn't have the power to do that um, and shouldn't do that. It's a slippery slope, you say? I say <clears throat> you're already hearing the pushback. He should obviously do that. The budget's out of control. The spending's out of control. The first word was he was just going to be able to trim away a little bit of existing money that's still in pots. Right. Not really go after spending reductions. So of the one point three trillion, I'm told yeah. maybe a, a couple of you know. Yeah. A couple of hundred Ten billion. billion. Right. If, in, the, in the scheme that, of things, it's not really going to move the needle. Not, is right. It? It's nothing. And the Senate today, the head of the Senate Budget Committee, Enzi, said uh, it's so we're so out of control. He may not even write a budget. Right. People don't understand the distinctions between writing a budget. That's kind of your cheerleading document. He's also talked about taking his committee out altogether. Yeah, just, all, right, just taking it out what of commission. What would that prove? Uh, it would just prove that spending here is out of control. We're, we usually try to write budgets that balance in 10 years, and this will just show we can't get but there. But, Congressman, this is the whole <clears throat> thing that Republicans were going to stop, right? Yep. I mean, you're the party of fiscal austerity. Yeah, no, you were elected right. responding to fiscal abuse and yep. all of that. And Americans, maybe this is why the party collectively is in, yeah. in trouble in the polls, hasn't lived up to what it's supposedly all about. Does that bother yeah. you that Americans are saying, 
you're worse than the Democrats. It, it doesn't bother me because philosophically we're right. But uh, Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan have to get out and explain this, right? So when it comes to budget time, our party wants to hold the line or reduce somewhat, right? Not enough. But what's the other side? The blue wave, they actually, in the, in the midst of this anxiety and anger and foul language spewing all over the blogs, whatever, they want to increase the size of the federal government. The very thing that is probably causing well, so this. so did you, right? I mean, you made the government bigger. Oh, I voted no. I was a dead no on that. No, but I'm saying Republicans, the government is the biggest it's ever been. Yeah, what, and that's that's why we need to offer up an agenda before November. Well, Ryan is not running for election, so he's yep. out. Um, do you have a candidate for that job that you think would do a better job of addressing your concerns? Well, I, I, I always try to keep away from the personalities, but I ran on the Republican creed. There's nothing wrong with the creed except we don't follow it. Right, so I'm going to put down with the Freedom Caucus, hopefully, some uh, principles. Right, reducing so you think the someone, size. Would yeah. someone from the Freedom Caucus, maybe yourself, be running for that for that job? I, th I think Jim Jordan said he's right. willing to put his name forward. We'll but see how Kevin that McCarthy emerges. and Steve Scalise, the names most often mentioned. Yep. Uh, you're not keen on. Well, I just want to hear their responses. Right. So Paul Ryan said he was going to put five of the good lat bills on the floor. And that we were going to pass the Goodlatte immigration bill, right? right so right. that Democrats want DACA, we gave them DACA, and now they're running away from that, right? They just want political issues instead of solving problems. So we need to tell the American people, hey, we're putting forward policy the Democrats are blocking. Well, do you across think it would be wise for uh, Paul Ryan to step down now to get a new speaker now while you guys are still in charge, or wait till January? No, I, I think, I mean, Paul's got the conference unified. He's got to move forward with a positive agenda, right? The good lat bill, welfare. No, I know, I know that, but yeah. the fear is that you, this lightning will only strike once here, that it doesn't look good for you in November. Now, it could change, to your point. Yeah, yeah. But that strike while it's hot. And what now? You've no, got the majority. I'd, I'd rather avoid all the drama. This, okay. this town's got too much drama. Let's just do economics. Skip okay. the drama, all economics. Paul can lead us on the good lat bill, welfare to work. That's his life's work, right? Uh, welfare, Social Security, make it some big fixes on the entitlement side. That's 75 percent of the budget. So if we can fix that Is the piece, president as concerned about this spending as you are? Uh, he says he's upset with the Omni bill. But the spending, we need him in the bully pulpit explaining, right, this is still the number one threat to national security, right? The debt bomb, the interest payments. I don't payments. see him alarmed by it. I know. He needs, to, he needs to show that more. He needs to show, hey, this is... And you don't think the, he has? Uh, not enough. Not okay. enough. And especially on the mandatory side, right? The kids, those programs are insolvent, Medicare and Social Security in 2034. If we don't fix them, the kids don't get them. And so everybody talks about the kids and compassion and all this kind of thing. Uh, but compassion is in the in the dollars, right? And so if you're really compassionate, uh, you want to keep those programs for the kids over the long run. And uh, no one up here, we got that's got to be in private, right? That's a political bomb. Right. And so everybody's got to get behind a door and say, hey, let's make a deal for the kids. And I think we're capable of that. All right. We'll see what happens. Yep. Congressman, very good. Hey, great to have you here. Right. Awesome. Yeah, you bet. Economics Thanks, professor did good. All I'm right. Trying.